Hey, welcome back to Gator Music TV. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to take six tracks on GarageBand for iPad and put them on one track to make more room. Let's get into it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to show you. As you can see on GarageBand for iPad, you can only have eight tracks to work with at a time. Uh, so what I'm going to show you how to do is to take all of these tracks and put them all on one track. So what you want to do is you're going to find a song that you want. And just to prove to you that this is the actual song that I'm going to be putting on one line, I'm going to play it for you. All right, so heard a little sample. What you want to do is you want to hit my songs. Just want to save it. You want to come down here. You're going to send it to iTunes. Excuse me if you can't see. Let me focus on it. Send to iTunes. You're going to send it as an AAC. Of course, it says the song already exists. Uh, I've already sent it there. Now we're going to move on to the next step, which is after you plug your iPad into your computer, you're going to want to open up iTunes. All right. Then what you're going to want to do is you want to click on the apps button at the top. You're going to hit GarageBand, and you're going to find the song that you want to uh, put on in one line that you just sent to iTunes. And there it is. It's right here. You're going to want to hit Save To, and you're going to want to put it in the folder. Uh, I said the song already exists. I've already put it in there. I'll hit replace just to make it uh, believable. Then what you're going to want to do is you want to open that folder. Here's the song here. And you want to drag this, put it on your desktop. Open iTunes back up. Open music, and you want to put the song in your iTunes library. Okay. There the song is right there that I just put in there. You're going to want to click on this. You want to go up to advanced. Click on Advanced, Create Wave Version. Bang, that's done. Right up under it, you see the second version of the song. That's the one that you want to put back into uh, iTunes. So you're going to take this, put this on your desktop. You're going to go back to your folder. You're going to put this in your folder. Bang, that's in there. Go back to iTunes. Go back to your iPad. You're going to scroll back down. Back to GarageBand, you're going to click Add. See, it says Wave. Is this for the 
Bang, that's in there. So now it's on your iPad. Close that out. Now let's come back to here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to start a new song. And you want to go to one of two things. Either the audio recorder or the guitar amp. I always use the audio recorder. And just for the sake of... Oh, well, you not even have to do that. You're going to go right here. Bang, that's that. You're going to tap. See, it says import. I'm trying to focus in on that for you. But anyway, click on import. You're going to find the song that you sent. There it is right there. Producer and the writer. There it is all on one line. I'm going to play it for you to prove that's the song. I didn't uh, render yet. There it goes, it's coming in now. All right, so I'm gonna play this. Bang, there you go. So now you have all of this extra room to add vocals, ad libs, uh, if you want to add more songs, if you want to do whatever. Thanks for watching Giddy Music TV. Stay tuned for more. I'm out.